What? Say go. Oh, hey guys, this is Trey with Total Disc Gaming. I'm doing a deck profile on my Kaiser on deck list. This is after the uh, level up heroes and adventures set. Um, all right, so the buddy is the uh, evil deity sword Dark Kaiser on. The evil sword deity Dark Kaiser. On. Sorry guys. Um, he's an eight two five with a cast call with the call cost to pay two gauge. Um, he has a counter. You can dur act during your turn. Uh, you may put a soul from a card on the field. That's any card, spell, monster, item, uh, into the drop zone, and you stand this card. It's once per turn ability. Um, and then he's got Soul Guard and Ride, and the Ride is put the top card of your deck and this card's Soul and Pay 2 Gauge. Alright, so that's the buddy. Um, so, let's see. So, obviously, we're going to play for the buddy. Um, there's that. Alright, and then so we play. We're gonna actually probably change this number around, but right now we play two of the original Great Sword Deity Kaiseron. Um, and the reason why I say we're gonna change the number um, is because right now I'm still in testing phase, but um, anyways, we'll get into this. So, um, cast cost of Pay to Gauge. When this card enters the field or ride, you put up to one card, one Brave Machine from your drop zone into this card's soul. Um, if there are three or more cards in this card's soul, this card gets plus one crit. So it's an 8-3-5, naturally become an 8-4-5 with the uh, effect. And then it's got Soul Guard and Ride to pay two gauge. Now I said we were going to up this, we're probably going to put this at either a three, probably back to four of, and we're going to cut down um, our kings, because our kings are kind of slow to get to. Right now we're doing four. I'm actually gonna swap this around probably as soon as this video is over with. I wasn't thinking about this ahead of time. Sorry guys. Um, but anyways, we'll get into him. He's a ten four seven with. Um, I'm not even gonna worry about the call cost to be honest. Um, so his ride is put this tower on top of a card that you're right on already and pay two gauge, and he has soul guard. Um, his abilities are. Uh, if you have three or more cards in this card's soul, it cannot be rested, and its attack cannot be nullified if it's attacking alone. And yeah, and then um, souls in this card cannot be put in the drop zone by your opponent's card effect. So it's pretty much this card's only weakness is item destruction or returning cards to hand. But um, yeah, we're gonna swap this out. So this this will be later on. I meant to do it ahead of time. It's my fault. It will be four of the original Kaiseron and two of the uh, Great Sword Deity. Um, but there's that. Um, all right, now we're moving on to our size twos. This is our. Uh, we play four of Metal Dragoneer Gear Drake. Um, He's a 5-2-5 with a call cost of put card from your drop zone and this card's soul and pay one gauge. Um, if there are one or more cards in this card, uh, one or more soul in this card, uh, items on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects and item, the item on my field gets plus one crit. And this card has moving soul card. So this card kind of solves our... Um, affect our thing about this card being destroyed so that if we have this card on the field and this card that means this card can only be returned to hand that's the only way to get around this card which is pretty good but um anyways so we have ways to stack more soul under this just to where he's more annoying to our opponent um but otherwise this card's really good it just makes our king cards are on a crit five our original Kaiser on a crit five if we have the three cards in soul and our evil deity a crit three. So it's it's really good. Um, next for the, our remaining twos we play four copies of Beast Deity um Elevison. Um he's a five two five with the uh, counter act, if you're on ride, you put this card in the soul from the field in the soul, and you may pay one gauge. If you do, you may ride a card with ride from your from your hand. Ride a card with ride and Kaiser on its name from your hand on top of your chosen of the card that you're already on ride on. 
and then it has the other ability if this card is in the soul of a card you're right on that card gets counterattack so this this kind of like once this card's in the soul it makes the opponent think about how they want to attack because they will lose monsters all the time because you always have an item like you just always have an item with this card it's really good um it just it forces the opponent to rethink their strategy um and the fact that you can do this during your turn and your opponent's turn so you can do it during your opponent's turn to avoid attacks because it, technically you would have a new target um and then during your turn you can do it to get extra attacks off so it's it's really good um it's in, in this deck it's a it's a four of a must definite um now moving on to size ones, this is how we get extra soul into cards on our field. We play uh, three copies of Rescue Dragon Fire Brigade. Um, he's at two, two, one, with an effect of when it enters the field, you may put, a, you may choose a card from your drop zone. Let's see. When this card, uh, choose a card from your drop zone and a monster or item on your field. You may pay one gauge. If you do, or no, I'm sorry, pay one life. If you do, you may put the chosen card from your drop zone into the soul of that card on your field. And it gets me. So I can stack it into my Kaiseron, or I can stack it into our, um, our Dragoneer to where he has more soul to where, because our opponent's going to target this. Otherwise, they can't, they have, they have to deal with extra crits, and they can't auto blow up our item. So, like, they have to target this. So, like, it just makes it really annoying. Plus, he's got move standard, so it's really good. Um, we play two of of the uh, Beast Deity Tiger Thrust. This is our 4 2 1 that has the act ability. You can put it from your hand or your field in the soul of a card you're on right on. While he's in the soul of the card you're on right on, that card gets penetrate. So, so we just we need this. We only run out of two of because it's, it's good to have the penetrate, obviously, but it's not a major necessity um plus the fact that you can put it in from hand just kind of makes it better it keeps the opponent from not being able to snipe this card before you can get get it into the soul um next moving on to that's it for our size ones we're going to move on to the only zero we play is three copies of bird deity say bird um this is our three one one with the same act ability as the tiger thrust you can put it from your hand or your field in the soul of the card that you're on ride um this has the act ability of if you have six life or less you may and it's in the soul of the rock the your item uh, you pay a gauge and if you do for this turn that card gets double attack so this card's like a must it makes the um evil deity sword have three attacks it makes our kaiseron our normal kaiseron and our king kaiseron have double attack um the evil deity sword has triple attack just because it can restand itself with its own ability which is really good and then I don't know. I'll, I'll show you something later. Um, Alright, so we're done with monsters. We're going to move on to our spells. First, we play four. Uh, I've seen through your moves. It's your basic nullify if you don't have a monster in the center. You play Khazron, so you normally don't ever have a monster in the center. Um, then we play four of a thousand years too early. Um, you may only cast this if you're being attacked, so it's when they're attacking Kaiser on itself. Um, nullify the attack, and for this turn, an item on your field gets plus 1,000 defense. So it makes our um, OG Kaiser on go to six, our evil deity Kaiser on go to six, and our king Kaiser on will go to eight the first time you play it. And it stacks for the whole turn, so it helps hit it makes the opponent have to hit better numbers the next swing all right um that's it for our defenses um we play three copies of call super machine this is our pay one gauge search your deck for any brave machine card this includes hyper energy for you guys that don't know that everybody should by now but um you can only cast it once per turn um play three of that it's just our search spell um we play three prepped and okay to launch um this is our set card that you can you can only set it one you can only have one on the field at a time yeah um when you arrive draw two cards and then put this card in the drop zone and then for this turn you cannot set another one so you set it you are 
You set it, you ride, and then you just can't set another one for the turn. Next turn, you set another one in, and then you just prepare to like loop the ride with uh, the King Kaiser on, hopefully. Um, but this is just early game, like first turn, set it, ride Evil Deity, and like you just profit two cards. And it's it's good. Um, you have to run it as a three of, otherwise you won't get it. Four, I think, is a little too much. Um, we're gonna move into. We play three copies of Brave Machine Hanger. This is our new card from the level up set. Um, this card is, uh, you can only cast it if you're a ride or station on a card. Um, choose a card on your field, look at the top three cards of your deck, put the one card from among them into the chosen card soul, and put the rest in your gauge. So this is our gauge, and this lets us tutor cards that we need, like if we need penetrate, it lets us get the penetrate. If we need the card with double attack, let's get double attack. If we don't have counter attack in soul, we can get the counter attack. Or if we don't have anything that we want, we just add an extra card to soul and make it better. Um, but you can choose any card. It doesn't specify items, so we can stack into the Metal Gear Drake to where it has more soul to if we whiff on the. Uh, if we would whiff on the other. Um, but anyways, we're on the three of. Um, we run Super Headquarters Brave Fort at a 2 of. Um, this is our set spell that uh, when your Brave Machine enters the field or you ride, put the top card of your deck in your gauge. This ability only activates once per turn. Then the other ability is if your life would become zero, destroy a card, you're right on. If you do, your life becomes one and destroy this card. You can only set one of these on your field at a time. Um, your items have soul guards, so you just blow this up, stay at one life, and remove a soul from your Kaiser on, and you still are on Kaiser on, so that's why this is really good in this deck. Um, but uh, I think playing more than two is just too much. You only really want to see it once. You don't want to rely on this. Of course, you want to push for game before you would ever have to, but it's just there if you have to. Um, and then we play one uh, hyper energy. We cut this down because Brave Hanger is slightly better, and this card can be searched out, like I said earlier, by called Super Machine, so knocking it down to one of is not that big of a deal. Um, if it wasn't searchable, of course, I would say play two, and I'd find something else to cut, maybe cut one of our shields, uh, just maybe. But, um, yeah, we play that one of It's your generic, you gain four gauge, you can only cast it once per turn. All right. Um, and for our last spell of the deck, we play two. It's about time I've got I get serious. Um, this is our if you have six life or less, you pay a gauge, draw two cards. Drawing cards is always good. Uh, drawing cards for one gauge is good. Drawing cards for three is better, but we don't have that yet, so this is good enough. All right. So on to our impacts. We play two copies of Jackknife Kaiser on. This is the new impact that's dual world for Neo Dragon, for Star Dragon World and Hero World. It is a Neo Dragon Brave Machine. It is an 825 size 2 uh, with a call cost to put this card on top of a monster on your field and pay to gauge. When this card enters a field during your final phase, if it has a Neo Dragon or Brave Machine in its soul, Stand an item on your field, and for this turn, that card can attack during the final phase, and that card gets one crit, plus one crit. This has move and soul guard, so it's really good. Um, we're gonna show you one little play here in just a second, um, and then we play one of the old school Brave Energy full drive. This is our you can only cast if you have it a ride and your opponent has five life or less, pay two gauge, deal two damage to your opponent, then deal damage to your opponent equal to the number of cards in the soul that you're on ride on. The damage dealt by this cannot be reduced. So, this card, if it didn't have the five left life or less limit, this card would be eternally broken with the way Kaiseron runs now because you can just keep rewriting with the uh, buffalo on top of it or the elephant. I'll kill you. Alright, um, but anyways, we're gonna, let's see, let me get something real quick, I'll show you one little thing. Um, we don't need that, we need that. Um, that and that. 
No, I don't want to talk. And I need. Yes. Just because I need another one. Uh, this one. Alright. So. You got your evil sword deity. You've already gotten lucky. You got both the sunbird and the penetrate guy. On. And this is in your hand. The king Kazron's in your hand. The jackknife is in your hand. Alright. And you have these two on the board. All right, now for this turn to work, you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five gauge. It's your world, so it's not that difficult to get five gauge. Oh, I'm not sorry, six gauge in one turn. So you pay the gauge for this, gives this double attack. All right, so you swing, re-swing, Take a card from Soul. Remove. You can even do it from this one. You can remove the Sunbird if you want to. If you need, to, if you need to keep the country, if not get rid of the penetrate. Um, Reswing. Um, link attack if you have to. Use this skill. Put in Soul. Pay the gauge. Pay the two gauge. Ride this. Um, now you have a fourth swing. Pay two gauge. Put this here. Restand it. Now it's crit five. So it's. Two, four, six, uh, ten. Uh, if the other two attacks got through, uh, fourteen. With this, that makes that a uh, make it a nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-one crit one turn. If they just don't have a shit ton of kills. Um, guys, like I told you, I'm gonna swap the original Kaiser on back down to back up to a four of probably, or may, I might just do three and three of the original Kaiser on and the King. But um, so this will this will be bumped back up to at least a three, and this will be cut down to at least a three. I might leave them three and three just to where I can actually see this. But um, let me know what you guys think of this. This is my uh, Kaiser on deck list, guys from Level Up Heroes. Thanks. Bye.